it's time for another look at an Atari ST game, and this time it's Blues Bro. Oh god. It's a Titus release. Yeah. Titus published some pretty pooey games back in the early days, and I'm thinking of games like Crazy Cars 1 and to a lesser extent Crazy Cars 2. But Crazy Cars 2 wasn't much better than the first one. The first one was absolutely atrocious and just barely playable. But they did clean up their act further on and did release a couple of good games, or at least a couple of decent games. But every time I saw the Titus logo in the early days I would go... <laughs> but this game is supposed to be one of the better ones. So uh, let's have a look at Blues Brothers, shall we? Yep, it's got a pretty nice title screen. And as I said before, this game is published by Titus and in, in late 1991. And as I also said, it's supposedly uh, one of the better Titus games, so I'm kind of looking forward to having a look at this. I've never played it before. I was kind of curious about it back in the days, but never got around to uh, playing it. And uh, I did look for a manual for this one, but couldn't find one, so we're going to go in blind pretty much and I don't think it's going to be super difficult. It's a platformer that's fairly straightforward <laughs> and it's a uh, I do like this title screen here or the character select screen. Let's pick um, I think Elwood right? <laughs> I think this is Elwood I'm not sure. I can't remember which is which or who is who rather. So we've got some music that's at least from the uh, the movie I believe I think it's Peter Gunn or something, possibly. And uh, an interesting note here is that Titus did not buy the entire rights to do a game about the actual movie. They just bought the rights to use the characters. So this game is not really following the movie at all. It's uh, just using the characters. But at least it's got some music that I believe is from the film, right? And yeah, this is uh, looking pretty nice. I like the the graphics here. I think we're supposed to be able to pick up. Yes, we are. We can throw these things. I read something about that. <laughs> I just knocked a police officer out. I have no shame about that. Oh, can I jump that lady? No, I can't. <laughs> oh, balls. Let's go grab another crate, shall we? Come on, pick up a crate, Elwood, or Jake, or whoever you are. Yeah. Yeah, the graphics looks really rather nice. And I do like the controls. It feels rather responsive. I think I'm going to go grab another crate because I feel much safer with a crate on me, having these old ladies in shopping carts around here. Come on. It's of course got the kind of flip scrolling that the ST usually had. I presume that the Amiga version is smoothly scrolling along, but not the ST version. That's not so surprising. God damn you. <laughs> God damn police officer. Go! Oh, oh, fudge. Well, I can't jump enemies, that's for sure. That was uh, a pretty short game. Apparently I can be hit three times and I've got one more life. So let's try and get this done with some more crates. And let's not screw up this time. So I can't jump on enemies, we know that much, and these old ladies are pretty mean. But nothing that a pair of crates can't sort out. What, what is it with crates <laughs> and computer games? I mean, really. If there's not a crate in the game, it's not really a video game or a computer game, is it? Come on, old lady. Come here. Go back to the park and feed the birds. Oh, fuck. She's still alive. Well, no worries. I've got one more crate. I don't think I can jump over her, can I? I don't think I can. Oh, you... You bastard. Now, the police, man, I would very much... Oh, look at that. You turned around, you little shit. What are you doing? Get get away, get away. Why are you just standing there like a fucking idiot? Go move, Jake. Elwood or whatever the hell your name is. That didn't work. Okay, this time, let's try and use my crates wisely. Use the crates, Elwood. Come on, pick them up. Yeah, the controls are pretty nice and responsive. I do like the graphics, and uh, yeah, this is um, a huge improvement over Crazy Cars 1 or 2, or even both for that matter. 
those games were not great. Not one bit. Could really get into this, I think. See if we can murder the policeman over here. Come over here. Come on, man. Yep. So what's this question mark then? That caused me to commit suicide last time. Let's see if we can go up there and keep murdering stuff. At least the enemies don't seem to respond, which is nice. I also believe that we are supposed to be able to pick up eggs from spiders and birds, I think, and we can use them to um, fire at the enemies as well. So not only do we have crates, weaponized crates, we've got weaponized eggs. I don't think I can... I don't think I have any eggs at the moment though, so let's see if we can avoid Mr. Presley down here. Oh fuck! Policeman, I don't... No! Get away from me! Get away from me! Get away! Get away, God damn it! Oh, balloons, cool! Let's pick up stuff! Oh crap! <laughs> Alright, so we're supposed to go up, I presume? Oh, more wondrous crates. Let's see if we can um, collect some vinyl here. Oh shit, at least I don't take fall damage. That's a good thing. We do have a lift over here as well, which is kind of nice. I think we're gonna go grab some more vinyl because that is good. Can you jump up, please? Get, get that vinyl. Oh shit. Uh, I'm gonna go down here. What the? Oh, son of a... I thought I was gonna... You bastard! You bastard. I hate how you can jump through the staircase here. That is super annoying. Let's grab the lift. Come on. <laughs> I can crawl as well. <laughs> that is nice. Looks like I'm, well, taking a bit of a dump, I'm afraid. But, yeah, we're gonna go this way, I think. Let me guess, it's gonna be an angry piranha in there. Can I stand on these things? I can't, that's probably just some decorative light. So maybe we should go the other way. I'm kinda, son of a bitch. I'm kinda curious about what's to the left. Call me crazy, but I, I wanna find out. There's some wonderful crate here. No, don't. Oh, maybe I can crawl or, you know, duck to avoid projectiles as well. Why are there th three crates here? Can I put this down? Oh, I can't. That's, that's a shame. Oh, shit. Can I... Mm, I'm not sure I want to mess with this individual, Mr. Presley over here. Do you have any projectiles, sir? Will you shove that dildo up my bum if I get too close or whatever that is. I don't want to find out. Let's not go this way. Let's uh, go back because I don't think I can climb. Hmm. Climb the... Uh... Oh shit. This might very well spell the end of me. I can't imagine this being a good thing, right? Oh, I survived. Thank you game for not murdering me there. I do appreciate that. I can't jump very high with this crate, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to throw it away. And get out of this tank before those shark things eat my face. Yeah, I definitely do not remember any sharks <laughs> in Blues Brothers. So, I don't think it would have made much difference to be... Oh, fudge! Difference if they would have actually gotten a, you know, proper license so they could make the game entirely based on the movie. I don't think it would have made a huge difference. The character is kind of enough. I'm pretty sure. What's that? Is that like a heart? Like a... Yeah, it's a heart, obviously, but I think maybe that refilled my... Um, my hearts. Ugh, oh, you bastard. Um... This guy is a bit of a dick, so let's see if we can grab crate and present him or present it to his face that went reasonably well oh that was cheap 
That was cheap. <laughs> oh shit, what the? Oh man, did I just fall down to the... I just fell down to the first floor, kinda. That is annoying, but the enemies should be dead, right? So, uh, see you back up there. Ah, uh, keep... Oh, f oh, balls. I just keep slipping off. <laughs> Alright, let's try this again. I'm liking this. Alright, let's try... Yeah, Elwood or... I think it's Jake, actually. I haven't seen Blues Brothers for a long time, so I don't really remember who is who. Oh, he... He seems a bit slower and a bit larger. <laughs> so yeah, I think he is. Maybe that's gonna help me with my jumping disability here. What the f uh, can I go up here not with not with my Oh balls. Did I just damage myself? <laughs> yeah, I can't jump very high with my crate. Nothing of interest up there. Let's try and not fall off the lift this time because that. <gasps> oh, you bastard! I forgot about you. Could you pick up the. I don't know why he's not picking up stuff. Thank you! Marvelous, that worked. Did take damage, that's very annoying. What the. Ah! I think I hit the, um, yeah, the roof there. Let's try this again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's not get too carried away. That, that, that's, that's working much better. Give me a crate. Give me a lift. That's all I want. I bet there's going to be an enemy waiting for me. Yep. Oh, what the? Hmm, I thought I got stuck there, but I didn't. Maybe I should go down, come to think of it, and grab me another crate, just to be safe. Seems to be some sort of stuff that you can pick up, like a guitar and a microphone and stuff. I'm not sure what that is, to be honest. If maybe that's things I need to collect. Oh shit, that was not good. Oh, I can never jump over these fucking things! Oh, it's a farmer. An ever so friendly farmer. Nope. Nope, just nope. This guy, it's a homing farmer. Bad news for me, and that's... What's that? An umbrella, right? I think I can fall down, maybe? Yeah, I don't... Think... Do I want to do that? Well, let's see what's going on down there. Maybe there's something amazing, like a bunch of... Records or something. I think I know where I'm gonna end up, though, but yeah... I flipping thought so, god damn it. <laughs> Oh, you absolute! What are you doing? Why are you dancing, you bastard blues brother? Oh, I get to start here. Well, that's good, because I'm not too keen on redoing all of this, so that was nice. Hello there, Elvis. How are you doing, sir? Take a crate. It's free. If the enemy is off screen, then yeah, I forgot about you again! <laughs> God damn it. Oh, crap. Oh, you twat. Ah, blah. Come on, get up. Uh, no, don't. Oh, son of a bastard. <laughs> the jumping is a bit slippery. I haven't gotten used to that. Let's see if we can get back here and just have a little bit of a look around here. I'm probably going to go with the other dude because he's slightly faster. Take it. This time, you're not going to get the drop on me, you annoying woman. <laughs> we got him. I think this is the first time I've ever managed that with this man. Oh shit, I was jumping too soon, damn it! <laughs> Alright, let's try not screw this up. And let's not fall down this time. Because, yeah, I don't know why I did that last time. I kind of suspect that I would end up... Oh, shit. I would end up where I did. So, uh... All right, bird. Could you... He's firing eggs at me. That's, um... <laughs> That's a surprise. Can I just carry on here? Uh, well, maybe not. But I can murder this guy, of course, which is great. How am I supposed to murder that bird thing? Because... 
I really don't know. Can I jump? I don't think I can jump with this crate thing. Oh crap. Let's try, try and do this. Maybe, oh, we can actually stand on the clouds. That's uh, very hardcore. Oh, I just missed. Mmm. <laughs> oh shit. Not sure what I was thinking there. Can I just get over here by doing this? Maybe. Just maybe. Let's try it. I think it should work. Just barely. Oh, that was like two pixels off. God. Okay, so how do we do this? I'm not entirely sure. Could we grab? Maybe if we do... Oh, God damn it! I tried to grab the crate there, but that didn't quite work. Sometimes... And now I can't get up there. Son of a bitch! I was going to try and stand on the other crate to be able to hit the bird in the face, but that didn't quite... <laughs> Are you trying to farm me, sir? That's not very nice at all. I feel obliged to kill kill you this time, I'm sorry. Uh, I was going to do a clever thing, I thought, but that doesn't quite work here. It's really quite annoying when you pick stuff up up here. You kind of fall down at the same time. I'm not sure how I should grab... Can I do this? No, I can't. I can't grab this thing without falling down. And then I can't get up because, oh, he can't jump as high as before. I wonder if I can kind of throw this thing. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to throw it horizontally, which is sad and disappointing. Let's try this again. Hopefully the, the bird won't bomb my face. I think I could maybe put fudge. Of course not. What am I, Mary Bloody Poppins? No, what? That egg didn't hit... Mm, really? I'm pretty sure that egg did not hit me, but hey, hey, okay, okay, okay. Okay, buddy. Can I maybe get sneaky and do this? Yeah, that might work, but I've said that like three times. I mean, come on, come on, come on. Yes! Finally! Now, can I get rid of this thing? Thank you. Give me a crate. It's a bit annoying, yes, that when you pick a crate up in a tree, you actually fall down. And for some reason, I can use this ladder when I've got a crate. That is, uh... Interesting. And we have broken records, I think. Is that bad for me? Is it something I can't digest, or is it just... Minus points or something? I don't know. I think I need a... Uh, uh, an umbrella, really, to be able to get these things. But let's see if we can maybe stand on these broken records. I'm... I'm not sure. Let's find out. Hopefully I'm not going to take damage. I don't think I did, so... Uh, let's try it again. I'm not sure why my guitar is flashing up there. Maybe I picked something up and didn't realize? I don't know. As I said, I could not find a manual for this one. Let's press some buttons, see if we can make wondrous things happen, but mm, doesn't seem to be the case. All right, that's, um, that's nice. Let's see if we can just carry on. Maybe this is the end of, uh, nope. This just seems to be kind of the um, rightmost side of the map. I can't go to level two or anything like that. Maybe I need to collect more records. I don't know. Oh! Oh, balls. I managed to find something and then I got immediately egged. <laughs> oh well, never mind. I think we're going to call it quits there. And before we end the video, we're going to have a look at a review of the game. And I only found one review of the game, and that's from SD Format in their December 1991 issue. And they gave the game a pretty decent score of 72%, and James Leach writes... 
The Blues Brothers is a pretty nifty platform game. It's smooth, fast and big. It's difficult and contains quirks like the wicked collision detection. And yeah, the collision detection was pretty mean. I think it was fairly spot on. Maybe there was one time when I felt that the game kind of cheesed me. <laughs> but otherwise it seemed to work fairly well. And he continues, if you aren't really too bothered about the plot or the license, you might find the Blues Brothers a nicely produced and challenging platform game. However, if you bite because you're a fan of Jake and Elwood Blues, the chances are that you're going to be disappointed. Even the soundtrack doesn't do them justice. Yeah, the soundtrack isn't great. It's very typical SD stuff. Uh, not the greatest stuff I've heard, but at least it's kind of, you know, you recognize the song, so that's good. But yeah, nothing too exciting. But all in all, a pretty good game. It's uh, certainly one of the better Titus games, that's for sure. At least of the ones I've played. And with that, we're going to call it quits. I'm going to say thanks for watching and all that, and hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next one. Cheers.